Android going to show it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know me making her own HP. Bake me a man. He said, I'm going to bake me a man. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, is the jar full? No. More stuff. Well, you could fit some more dirt in there. Uh -huh. You can put some water. Uh -uh. I'm going to say water in there. Beer? Yeah. She got beer? Yeah. Natural what? ice. Oh, my God. Natural ice. I told you, like, I'm hey, looking at I'm on the Dr. Oz show. You asked me to say it? No, I'm just saying. He oh. does that stuff like that. Now, with dirt? No, with it, you know. <laughs> Is the jar full? It looks kind of full, full to me. No, it's no. full. Okay. No. We could get something else in there. Okay. What else you got? The Did whole you? thing for this story, okay, there's a thing with this story, okay? And the whole thing is, is it's a metaphor for life. Oh. Okay? Mm -hmm. And... A professor, he did this in his classroom with his students, mm -hmm. okay? And um, he says, the jar represents your life, okay? This is your life. The golf balls are the things that are important. Put that in your life first. Mm -hmm. okay. That's your family, your children, your health, your friends, mm -hmm. and your passions. Mm -hmm. Put that in your life first, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Then, the pebbles are the other things that matter. Your job, your house, and your car. The soil is the little stuff, the small stuff in life. Mm -hmm. Anybody know what this is? The mess, mess. The mess, the mess the in your life. The mess in your life. The stuff you don't need. No matter so how full your jar gets, there's always room for alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh, that was funny, Shirley. Good one, Shirley. <laughs> Can you oh, see all of us in there? This is all those yeah. press it, it's stuff. I don't know what this stuff. This is the, what do you call this, Karima? This is the fertilizer. The stuff. It's, it, that's it's, 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 it's the stuff. She said that fertilizer. No, it's the stuff that comes in life. You know, it's, it's stuff. stuff. It's stuff that you have to deal with. Mm -hmm. All the toxic stuff. It's the bills. Right, dirt. Good stuff, bad it's stuff. The bills. It's the bills. traffic. Yeah, you're right. It's the dirt. traffic. It's the long lines. It's a psychotic manager. It's a, you know, no. <laughs> it's a, you know, road rage. It's, it's the yeah. stuff. It's your stuff. That you too. always can, and I can keep putting more in here. What is that again? That's the fun. You always have room. always pour have room for you fun. Always, no matter like that, how Doreen. full your jar is, no matter how full it is, you can always have room. Fun. I love that. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, Donald, you, you guys want to continue talking? Are you ready for some more soup? No, we want some soup. All, All right. right. Well, thank you guys. Um, I hope you thank enjoyed. You. Please thank read you. chapter five. Oh, Please read chapter five. Yeah. And, uh, We're not reading the book. And the book. Yeah. Yes, I'd like you to read the so whole you know, book. This for sure on Facebook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, sorry, do you have Facebook? No, nah, no. Oh, then it won't matter. Yeah, it won't matter, right? She's not even on there. But yes, I want you all to please, please. After you read chapter five, you should be inspired to want to read the whole book. Yes, chapter five. Is let's everybody, let's give Doreen uh, a big hand. And let's also thank our guest speaker today, Miss because we have to just move it along. Yeah. But I really, really appreciate this presentation and facilitation. It's it's doing, you know, it really brings something to my spirit because I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. I, I, I think it's important, because Cindy, I'm going to ask you in a few minutes, I think it's important that we know how you arrived at where you are today 
as a writer. You're an author, yeah. two books. Yeah. And, you know, just how did that come about for you? Well, um, about it since you was in high school. Yeah, <laughs> I've been writing since, yeah, I mean, on with junior high, really, mm -hmm. but. Then, you know, to finally make the leap to get published, mm -hmm. you know, Sorry, I was mm -hmm. hanging out with Shirley and Doreen, really going to the Harlem Book Fair and everything, yeah, and then we went to a seminar where they said there's no excuse anymore because you can self-publish. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. My first experience was pretty good because it was new self-publishing, and they, mm -hmm. were, they, were more, they were interested in the product being good. My second experience with HB was not as good um, because now there's like a million self-publishing companies out there and they're all about money. Mm -hmm. So I spent thousands of dollars and, you know, the less you know, the, the more it costs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now with, with chapter five that I just gave out, I'm working on just publishing that as an excerpt from the mm -hmm. book. Um, Would that be an ebook for you? Or is I'm gonna make it an ebook first. The other books are also um, available on Kindle and Nook. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that with this one, but I'd like to get some hard copies too, just to learn the process. So um, I'm investigating getting my own ISBNs. Okay. Um, you know the barcodes. Mm -hmm. You can do that. So you can either pay for the service. You pay for somebody and, and they charge a lot or learn how to do, how to do, it, it, yourself. do it yourself. So now, because of my experience with, with HB mm -hmm. and getting that published in the thousands of dollars that have it was. Have you tried to send it to different people? That red light that's on. What does that mean? To test for your um, I I've sent it, you know, when they ask. There's a lot of book clubs out there. So, yeah. you know, everybody is not so receptive because they have their own genre they like yeah. to read or whatever. So, I mean... And those books cost me money, yeah. so I don't just willy nilly like send them out. Yeah, right. You know, if I break even, I'm I'm lucky. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you know, I enjoy the writing part of it. Mm -hmm. It's the business side of it that takes a lot of uh, effort. Um, and the more you know, the the better off you are. You know what I find is the less you know, the more expensive it ends up being because you end up paying for things. Like the press release that I had um, Author House write for me, I think it was like $150. What Someone I got. wrote your press release? Yeah, it was a package. Okay. And I thought, you know, I didn't really know what a press release should look like. Mm -hmm. So I asked them to, uh, you know, I paid them to write it for Until me. Until today. <laughs> yeah, and once they did that, I said, well, I'll never pay for that again. That's right, you do your own. Yeah, because, you know, what? it was just one page. And it was, you know, I guess it's just a standard format of what, you would send to a newspaper or a television station or a magazine or whatnot. Now I got the format, I'll never pay for that again. Mm -hmm. You know, and I looked at it and I was like, this is what I got for $150, mm -hmm. you know? So it's well, a, part of the learning, I would imagine. It is. It's a learning process. I'm not I'm not really angry about <laughs> yeah, what I've gone through really because I, I do learning. look at it like that as a learning process. Mm -hmm. So now you know, and I thank you, Karima, for oh, having this suit party and letting me Come with my uh, book in my chapter five because that has inspired me to pull chapter five out the book, mm -hmm. which I have been told to do anyway because mm -hmm. it, it's almost its own book. Yeah, yeah I love chapter five. I really, and I, I you know, I've been book. saying to myself, I'm going to do it and procrastinating. So thank you because you got me off my, you know what, and I actually you know started working on it. So I think it's good. Thank I you think so it's good. Much. Oh, you're welcome. And I think it's so good that women, especially, can read something that is empowering and, you know, then take a piece of it and maybe change your life. Yeah. And I think even in a joking way, mm -hmm. you know, androids, mm -hmm. when we talk about androids, we <laughs> might not be serious about it because it's sci fi. Right. But, I mean, when you really think back, I mean, when you really think about it, is it possible to have a relationship? Mm -hmm. Right. It comes close to fulfilling your body's getting low. Yeah, your, it is. If not your every need, a good.